Hey, what's going on everybody? E back with another action figure review. Today we're going to look at the Hasbro Marvel Legends Retro Carded Fantastic Four High Evolutionary Figure. This is the last figure in the set of six that I have been reviewing. I've reviewed all other five, so if you guys uh, want to check out those reviews, be sure to check them out. They are all up on YouTube. So you can see them through the window packaging here. Here's the back side of the package showing the rest of the wave, including Mr. Fantastic, The Thing, Invisible Woman, Human Torch, and Psycho Man. The read-up reads, with highly advanced intelligence and cybernetic exoskeleton, the high evolutionary challenges the Fantastic Four. And there you have it. If you guys are still looking for this wave, be sure to check out the links down in the description below where you guys can order yourself a set. Alright, so this is high evolutionary. And I know nothing about this guy, I cannot lie. But I did look up a few things, so let's take a crack at it. He is an evolved human. He actually made his first appearance in the Mighty Thor number 133. He is another Jack Kirby character, and he's actually set to make his first MCU appearance in the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, played by Mark Hamill. Alright, his powers include superhuman intelligence, telepathy, telekinesis, precognition, and cosmic awareness, vast matter and energy manipulations, abilities, size manipulation, sentient armor, grants, superhuman strength, durability, and vast regeneration capabilities. And some of his team affiliations are New Men and Knights of Wondogore. So as far as I'm aware, this is another on you body sculpt. So we got two villains in this retro vintage Fantastic Four wave, Psycho Man and High Evolutionary, and they're both sporting brand new molds. Now this is another one of those figures that I wasn't really too crazy about or wasn't uh, anticipating too much. And although he didn't give me the same reaction as Psycho Man, he's still a pretty dope figure. I like the pinless arms and pinless knees. I just wish he had a little bit more pop in terms of color and just overall look. I do like old school classic characters, so I'm definitely happy to have him. I Evolutionary comes with only a separate pair of hands here. So we get a left fist to complement or to go right with his right fist on the figure. And as you can see, his left open hand We'll also have a partner in crime with a right open hand. That's it. That's all you will get. Alright, so here we'll check out the very nice looking head sculpt. Check that out. Looking really good. Sculpt work is it's nice. I like the uh, you know metallic redness to the plastic. There's a side view of that. We got the yellow eyes painted on there pretty nicely. And the red plastic is like a metallic marbleized plastic. There's the backside, and then we get a little fin on the head. Almost like a Yondu looking character. Going down to the torso here. Uh, paint job is a little rubbed off on the silver buttons here. I don't know if that's due to the window packaging. Maybe it was touching it. I didn't really, you know, see that or I didn't pay attention to that if that was occurring in the package. But it's definitely rubbed off on mine. So that kind of sucks. Now the arms are these uh, very nicely sculpted and textured. Uh, pieces here, but I do wish that the uh, silver or the gray wasn't gray. I wish it was more metallic. The metallic paint job would have been cool. Um, it's a little dull for me, but it's you know it's all right. It does come off very different depending on what light sources hit it. Then you can see down here at the waist, we get the separate piece as his little skirt piece here, and some more silver paint for those buttons on the front and the back. This thing doesn't really move. You can see it's kind of pegged in on his backside right there. And here are the pinless knees and those are the boots all right so checking out his articulation we get the awesome barbell peg so the head's going to be able to look up and he looks down about that far so it's not too much looking down but looking up is there and then we get the super awesome head tilts i like these with the barbell pegs because you can get those very menacing villainous side angled you know poses with the head so that's cool. And of course you can spin it all the way around. Arms are going to go all the way up until it hits that little shoulder piece of his armor or of his suit. That's where it stops. You're going to have to kind of angle it out like that. And you can just hear how squeaky that is. Pretty tight joint. So it doesn't go straight up. That's as far as it goes. But you got to angle it out. Going back down. In and out. Pretty tight. Bicep swivel. Double jointed pinless elbows. We've got the wrist swivel. And there is a hinge at the wrist. We also do get the uh, diaphragm joint at the torso, swivels left and right. 
goes back, goes forward. And then there is also a waist swivel, very hard to tell, but if I hold down the abdominal piece and you know move around his waist, it does move, it does rotate. So there is a waist swivel along with that diaphragm joint. Legs will kick forward about that far. Then we have the legs opening up about that far. Thigh swivel. Our double jointed knees are pretty nice. And then we have a boot cut shin swivel and then an ankle rocker going forward and back and side to side along with, no, that's not an ankle swivel. I thought that was. It looks like that would have been a perfect spot to put an ankle swivel. But it's just a, it's just a molded piece. Alright, so let's check them out next to some of the other figures in this wave. We have Cycle Man, which is my favorite figure of the wave. I think I kind of like him more than Reed Richards. I don't know, they're neck and neck for me. I definitely love the lab-coated Reed Richards, even though it is a old sculpt. It's just so classic looking, and I love it. But Cycle Man came out phenomenal. So, do not sleep on this guy. You can see him here standing next to High Evolutionary. They're about the same height, give or take. And here he is next to the Human Torch. Johnny does stand a tad bit taller because of that flame effect on his head. Right, and here he is next to Unparalleled Universe's favorite figure of the wave. This is Sue Storm, aka Invisible Woman. Right, here's Reed Richards, and I know I keep praising this figure due to the lab coat uh, design, but I also do like him without the lab coat. Very classic colored um, Reed Richards here. Definitely my favorite. Alright, and here's the final figure from this Fantastic Four Retro Wave. Here we have him next to The Thing. Of course, as we all expected, he is the biggest figure. Alright guys, and that wraps things up on the High Evolutionary Marvel Legends Retro Fantastic Four Wave figure. If you missed out on any of my recent reviews from this wave, check them out. Definitely check out this wave. Uh, I think it is definitely one of the uh, better waves released this year. This year overall has been very strong, so this is no different. And it's a nice collectible wave, whether you're a loose collector or a mint on card collector or both. Alright guys, you know the drill. Go ahead and leave a like. Comment down below your thoughts on the figure. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, take care. Take it easy and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.